Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Friday, December 14th, 2018. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Friday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Uh, what you'll notice here is price has broken down out of the inside day that we had the previous session. There's the inside day. The previous session's high and low are inside uh, the high and low from the prior session. And that is usually indicative of compression here ahead of what could be a breakout. Now, one thing I've mentioned here before is that price is holding right at the lower edge of this range that has developed since uh, mid to, to early October. Uh, this was a great breakdown of these levels and then a rally back up. And price has continued to hold the zone that we've talked about all week long, which was the 16 to 21 zone. It has hit it a couple of times here and is held. Uh, and that is doing just enough, just enough to keep this thing in the bull's court, but just barely, just barely. Uh, this is exactly what you'd want to see as a bull here, other than just running off to the upside. But this is exactly what you'd want to see is a defense, 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 all in this area. We obviously know that the sell stops are below here. So if price starts to push through, say, the 15s or below the 15s and can't hold 26 15s perhaps there's a big stop run coming but we are right on the edge right on the cusp of where bulls want to defend for a shot at returning prices back up anytime you have an inside day here my trading room knows I mention it every single time the first breakout can oftentimes be the wrong breakout it can be a false breakout so breaking down first in overnight trading is actually good because if price were then to climb back up and close back above the day's midpoint or back above yesterday's close and low that would suggest an upward thrust in the days to come so again we are right on the edge here bulls are doing just enough to hold this thing but I would say trust but verify at this moment because any failure here could open up again another round of selling pressure ahead and a failure to hold the 2615s would suggest that that would be the case but right now things are looking just bullish enough to bring this thing back up and perhaps across the range and we will see how this continues to develop if you take a look here at the NQ you'll see very similar type of price behavior but the difference here is the NQ is working off of higher lows here higher low higher low inside day breakdown but still another potential higher low here developing so this one right here again holding the 6650 level which has been very very important that's the level I mentioned again if price can't hold 6650 then perhaps we start to see failure and right now we're seeing price hold that 6650 uh, zone and we're starting to see a tail at the lower end of the day does that again suggest that we could be headed higher so right now bulls are doing just enough to keep this thing bullish if we take a look at the YM the YM looks very similar uh, and actually looks quite healthy again here's the previous month's low that's two month lows right there a nice rejection on Monday and we have held the previous uh, month's low here on every retest including this morning off the 24 250s and again this looks the part in terms of looking like it may have a shot to return this thing back up. Now a failure to hold 24,250 uh, on a closing basis would suggest that we could see another spill downward but right now again bulls are doing just enough to keep this thing looking higher. Uh, if we take a look at crude oil you'll see here crude oil the previous session had a huge huge up day. This was an outside bullish reversal here where price pushed below the previous lows. You can see here, that's the low. One, two, three, four day lows took them out. By the end of the day had closed uh, at or just beyond the previous three or four day highs. And that is a, an outside bullish reversal and tends to spark upside price action in most cases. Now the problem here is that we have not been able to put two strong days together in this market since the top the last time we put a couple of strong days together was just before we sold off other than that we have not had two solid up days and so this would be outside the norm of the current market 
but this would also be within the scope of what usually happens. Again, here you have the previous month's close holding at all costs. We obviously know the sell stops are below, but if these bears are not getting paid, at some point the upside buy stops come out, a short squeeze ensues. This type of big day here, uh, the way it's holding and then the way it's holding here today, just above the mid, suggests that we could see at some point an upside squeeze that could take us to 55s and perhaps through it for a short-term basis. So again, is an upside squeeze coming? It definitely looks the part, but this market has not been able to demonstrate that it can go higher two days in a row. So I'm skeptical, but this is about as good as it gets right now on a near-term basis for a shot to go higher, at least to retest 54.50 and perhaps even higher. The last time we had about as good a, an opportunity was right here, and it failed horribly. We'll see if that happens again here today or uh, in, in the days ahead, but this looks like it has the potential to squeeze. The last thing I want to show here is ZB, 30-year bonds. Uh, this one obviously had a major squeeze. It put together the biggest up move we've seen in a while. Uh, it did reclaim the 140 level, and I mentioned before that this pivot was going to be very important because whenever it was ready to go higher, it was going to be upon taking out that pivot. It did so here, and it worked across the range to 143. It tried to go higher to 145s, but right now showing signs of weakness. Here you're seeing potential lower highs. And typically what happens here is after seeing this major push through uh, to 143, oftentimes you will come back toward the 140 zone to retrade through all that and then try again across the range. So if these markets are going to head higher, this type of price action and the potential to push down could help the YM, the ES, the NQ go higher if ZB were to turn down in this manner. So again, uh, perhaps we may see another rotation higher in the equities while the bonds rotate a little bit lower. And if the bonds rotate back toward 140, this would be a spot where bulls would look to pick it back up and return it back up toward re recent highs. So again, maybe the winds of change are coming in here and can push uh, ZB lower with the equities going higher. But again, I would say trust but verify because at any moment a failure can occur and that could be very significant heading into the weekend. All right, that is it for now. We will see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck. Trade well. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everyone watching and have a fantastic weekend. Take care.